All right, my friends, here we are again for another episode of me facing and playing against Magnus Carlsen, or rather the app Play Magnus. And we'll try again against Magnus at the age of 13. For those of you who, who saw the last episode, you know, it was just a, tra a tragedy very much. So... Let's see if I can do better today. He starts not with e4 like in the last game with knight f3. I go c5, knight c6. All right, knight c3. And here I like to go g6. And I do like this line. It's very solid for black. Very solid and so easy to play. Uh, I go h6 and castle. a3. Okay, and now... I can go, well, d5 looks very sensible. Goes rook b1. He wants to go b4. I mean, this is a standard plan for white in these positions. But, I mean, for example, d4. I, I feel like all of this is very comfortable. Uh, uh, there's another way to play this is to go d takes c4 and then go e5. Um, but I like d4. I like space. I do like space, even though, was that the smartest way to do this? Hmm. B6, now it goes B4. I don't want to take on, I don't want to take on um, B4, but maybe I have, uh, D4 was premature because I would like to go Queen D6 now, but maybe you can go B5 then, followed by taking on D4. Yes. Ah, huh. Hmm. Yeah, this, this didn't go according to plan. I would like to keep my pawn structure intact, but now it looks like I have to take on b4. So d4 by myself was not the way to do this. Note to myself for next time. So queen d6, b5, now it doesn't look like I can get it to work. I have to move the knight and then he takes on d4. And my rook is hanging on a8. Mm, so yeah, I have to take. And now, but I'm, I still like my position. I mean, honestly, I still like my position. Um, even though b5 could be annoying actually. But let me go bishop b7. If he goes b5, I have knight e5, so now he castles, and now b5 might be an issue again, maybe, maybe, maybe not. I could go a6, but not sure if I want this. Queen c7 is another move, queen d7. Mm. Not quite sure where to put my queen. Hmm. Maybe queen c7 after all. All right, let's go for it. And here, oh shoot. Wait, hold on. Ah oh, man. I want to go knight e5 of course, but now I'm realizing my pawn is hanging on d4, so I should have gone to d7 after all. Well, maybe this is actually still working for me somehow. Okay, let's try. Okay, so he doesn't take on d4. Uh, probably I could have taken on g2 then, take on d3, something along these lines. Somehow, I'm not sure, but I'm sure he calculated. All right, so I can just take on e5 or I can take on g2. Well, let me take on g2 unless there's a reason why I shouldn't. But knight takes g6 doesn't work. I can take on f1, then go back to h3. So I'll take here and take here. Oh gosh. Oh my god, guys, that's just embarrassing. I just blundered a pawn away. Wow. Wow, that was just uncalled. Uncalled. Okay. So now we gotta see how we can and what we can do with this position. That was just uncalled. 
All right, I can go knight f5. Well, I'll go bishop f6. He goes e4. Uh huh. Okay, I'll take. But I'm not too unhappy about this development, obviously. I mean, he has opened up my bishop, and um, I have a target on d3. So, yeah, that was a little bit odd that he did this. There was no need. So now I could double on the d file, and that seems to make a lot of sense. Um, to put some more pressure on the pawn. I could also take the, the bishop on e3, but no. I don't want to do that. Knight d4 is another move. But I like doubling here. Okay, he improves the position of his knight. Mm, that makes sense. Okay, I think I'm just going to retreat to g7. Somehow I want to keep my bishop. I like my bishop. Okay, now I'm threatening queen takes c4. Ah, man, I'm just missing moves left and right. It's not good. It's really not good. Probably shouldn't play at that time of the day. It's right now in the evening. I'm like, yeah, let's play a game against Magnus. Well, that's what happens, guys. That's what happens. Yeah, didn't see bishop g5 coming. And now he gets my bishop. Unless I give the exchange, but that would be too big of a price to pay. Or would it be? I'm almost inclined to just give the exchange. Because I don't feel like rook c8, knight f6. I mean, it just looks horrible, so whatever. And now I push the knight. And what can I do? I want to go something like queen a8, uh, but maybe g5 first. I like g5. Actually, I don't mind my position too much. I know I'm down a pawn in exchange, but you know, I mean, at least in a game against a human, I wouldn't mind too much. Um, g5 or queen a8? Queen a8, just he plays f4. Can he do this? I mean, even that looks good for me, kind of. No, let's go g5. And he goes f3, okay. And now I could go queen a8, for example. Look after the f3 pawn. And now, Ha, huh. how do I improve? Bishop f8 and bishop c5 looks pretty decent. So let's do that. Bishop comes to c5. Ah, then he still has knight a4, unfortunately. Wait, hold on, knight takes f3 then. What? Bishop c5, what does he do? Knight a4, knight takes f3. I think I know what he can do. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. So bishop is c5, guys. Just follow in your head right now. Knight a4, knight takes f3 check. Queen takes, queen takes. So my queen is on f3 then. But then he takes my bishop on c5. So... Tss. My, uh, the, my queen is attacked on f3 and so is my rook on d7. And I don't see anything there. Gotta be kidding me. Gotta be kidding me. Uh, but maybe he can take with the queen on f3. Oh no, then he can take with the rook. Shoot. Bishop c5, knight a4. Unbelievable. Knight takes f3, queen takes, queen takes, knight takes c5. Queen d1, check, rook f1. I could go into a rook and game there, but no, that doesn't look pretty. Um, well. 
have to find a move. <laughs> That's funny. It's kind of difficult to come up with a move. It feels like all my pieces are already in, in good places. It's also going to be curious to see what he's up to next. I mean, he can go knight a4 maybe. Hmm, what can I improve? How can I improve my position? e5 no i don't i can't give him the d5 square g4 no f4 no hmm i can just move back to g7 but i don't really see any point in doing so i could move to h6 with the idea of g4 hmm i don't know doesn't really feel right either Really interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see any way to increase the pressure. So I think I just have to make some move and see what he comes up with. Yeah, and he goes knight a4. And uh, threatens knight takes b6, so I have to move my queen. Probably shouldn't go to b7, or maybe I can go to b7. Yeah. c5 isn't possible, I can take him b5. So he goes queen f1. And, well, now I could go g4. He has allowed me to go g4. And, I mean, that looks just really good. Takes, takes, and I'll get my knight into f3. At least that's what I was thinking before he played c5. Ha! Hmm, that's interesting. So now if I go knight f3, he wants to take. <sighs> wow, why is this always getting so tactical? What if I take on b5? How is he saving his rook? How is he saving his rook? What is he going to do? Hold on. Knight takes b5. Is he going to play queen to g2? Is this for real? <laughs> I think so. I mean, he's going to get a draw there, which would be a success already for me, given that uh, I was down so much material. But knight takes b5, queen g2, I think, is what he wants to play. Queen takes a6, queen a8, check. King h7, queen e4, check. And it's a perpetual. It's just ridiculous. Hmm... Knight takes b5, queen g2, rook d5. Maybe I shouldn't overstretch my luck. Alright, so knight f3, let me look at this move again. So he has to take. Or does he? Maybe he can go king h1. <laughs> Maybe it's just gonna be ice cold and go king h1. Actually, knight d2, queen g2. Okay, so probably knight takes b5 is what I'm gonna do. Oh, see, I didn't see this move. Ha. Huh. Hmm. He didn't play queen g2, but knight takes b6. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I don't think I'm going to lose this, though. Well, okay, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Um, okay, if I take on a6, he takes on d7, I play bishop d4, no, that doesn't look too pretty. So I can take the knight, he takes back, 
I play my queen to d5 probably. And then rook takes b5, I play bishop d4, pinning his rook, and he plays rook b4 to eliminate my bishop. Huh. Yeah, maybe I am gonna lose this. Maybe I am, we'll see. So what if I move my rook? Just play move like, I don't know, rook c7 or rook e7. Then he might play queen g2 after all. But no, no, then I could take the queen and take the knight. Um, yeah, what if I move my rook? Is he gonna play rook a5? But then I can go knight d4. Which, well, I don't know how good it is, but looks decent. Ah, oh, guys, I really don't know. This is difficult. Rook c7 or rook e7, that's another question. Or rook d8, I mean, that's also possible. Hey, rook d8 kind of feels the most logical to me. Rook d8, what can he do? I mean, rook a5 is like the only move I see. And then I can go knight d4. Hmm. I mean, it just feels the way to go. Yeah, he goes rook a5. So, yes, I got one of his moves, right? Um, and I go knight d4. I mean, I could take on... Hold on, what if I go bishop d4 now? Rook takes b5 and rook f8. Looks pretty strong, doesn't it? Bishop d4, rook b5, rook f8, I think is very strong. Actually, huh, not sure how strong. Bishop d4, rook b5, rook f8, rook b2, he has to play to protect the, the rook. And maybe it's not that great after I mean it looks great. I can take him b6, but mm, I don't know, he plays h4 maybe or something like that. Mm. No, nah, maybe I'll just go knight d4 after all. Okay. And now he just wants to ignore knight f3. I thought he was gonna do that. No, he's gonna take. Okay, he takes. Uh, I guess he couldn't ignore it. I don't know exactly why, but I guess he couldn't. Um, well, and of course I want to keep the queens on the board. So I take with the pawn. h4 makes some space for the king, but now I'm getting my pawn to f2, which I do like. I could even play f2 now. I could be like, cool. But maybe it's not cool, because he can take bishop d4, knight e3, and that could backfire. Well, or it could backfire for him. Ha! <laughs> I don't know. Um,
f2 check queen takes bishop d4 knight e3 rook f8 um queen d2 e2 or e1 and then in each case i play rook f3 and if i'm not mistaken i win unless there's c6 hmm. or i could play it safe go bishop d4 check first and then go f2 but huh I feel like f2 is stronger. Alright. Oh, damn it, he took. That's that's a bad sign. <laughs> I don't know, but I mean Queen f3 is definitely winning a piece here. Maybe it's not a bad sign, guys. Queen f3 is definitely winning a piece. And rook f3 should also win something. But rook f3, I'm still not sure of c6. That is worrying me a little bit. That's the only issue. Um, but even then I could play a move like rook takes e3. Nah, cell phone is vibrating here. Uh, oh, let me just turn this off real quick. I guess it's off now. All right, let's win this game now, folks. Let's win. Let's win. Queen f3 or rook f3. And queen f3 seems pretty safe. He has two pawns. But... Yeah, let's play it safe. Rook f3. Looks also great, but no. Let's go queen. Yeah, okay. This seems familiar, right guys? I mean, we've had this several times in the series already where I'm like up a piece and he just has a, a few pawns left. So um, this is not too unfamiliar and I should be able to Bring the bacon home, like I like to say. Just have to see how exactly we're going about this. Because my king is stuck on the last rank and he has, still has two pawns. But this cannot be enough for him by any means. So let's do this. Let's see. Um, where to move my bishop? Or do I play rook d5? I need to get his rook off the seventh rank as quickly as possible. That's objective number one here. Hmm. Hmm. Not so simple. Okay, how about bishop f8? Hmm. Bishop f8. Huh. Probably goes king g2. Then I'm looking at rook g3 and I'm wondering if that endgame is winning. Hmm. But maybe I don't have to let it come to that. <laughs> All right, so what I need to do 
just get my rook to f7 or something like that. So I can get my king out. But how exactly am I doing this? How exactly? <sighs> Sorry for the long thing here, guys, but I really want to make sure I don't mess this one up after I've messed up the last one already. Even though the last one feels like almost was less clear than this one. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> Rook d5, king. No. Bishop of a king g2. Well, what do I do then? <laughs> what do I do? Feels like this should be easier. <laughs> okay. I think I'm gonna go rook d5. I'm not happy though. I'm not a happy camper. Could also just play a move like bishop a3. G5, King F8, G6. Hmm. Okay. Let's move the bishop here, and now, well this, doesn't this allow bishop d6 now? King f2 is a little bit odd, because rook d7, bishop g3, and I mean, okay. Okay, but now my king is coming out, that's certainly an improvement. I could also give a check first. No, king f7. Okay, but now I'm definitely winning. Yeah, I think the critical line was to go king g2. Um, I mean, check, sidestep with the rook, king f6, and now everything under control bishop to f4 and now rook g3 for example rook g8 but he can't move i mean i can just improve my position i'll bring my king forward well actually he has hmm I guess one idea he does have is rook g6 followed by h6. Okay, so maybe I, I still need to be careful. Shouldn't call it yet. So rook g6 and h6 are his next moves. No, I should never call it, of course, before it's over, you know, these computers.
Okay, king e5, rook g6, I just play rook h3. Then he really can't do anything. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so he tries to get closer with his king, which doesn't bother me too much. Okay. Rook g3 again, and then he wants to check me, or... Now he goes back, but now I can bring my king closer. And then he wants to go h6? Well, he can do that. I don't mind. There we go, we're making progress, my friends. We're getting there. I know this probably is now like a half an hour long video or so, but I don't care as long as I beat this guy. Um... Yeah, I mean, whatever, at this point, really, it doesn't matter. Okay. That doesn't require any comments anymore, I think. And we have gotten past Magnus at the age of 13. I really, you know, for a moment I was like, okay, after Bishop takes h6, let's, let's call it a day. But you got to hang in there and I don't know. I mean, oftentimes we talk about how the computer play stronger than Magnus at, at certain ages, but this game wasn't one of them. I mean, I don't think Magnus at the age of 13 would have given it away like this. That's just ridiculous. Well, I'm very happy uh, that I've uh, took revenge for the last brutal game and uh, will advance to age 14. Look forward to see you then. Bye-bye.